assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so the topic that we will discuss today it is the importance of vitamins that how the vitamins are important for all the living organisms as we have studied there are two types of vitamins in which the first one type we have the vitamin that are water soluble vitamins and the second type that we have it is fat soluble vitamins and they have been divided according to their properties the vitamin b and the vitamin c they are water soluble vitamins and the vitamin a d e and k they are the fat soluble vitamins as all these vitamins are very important for the healthy development as they are important for the healthy development of the body when we have a look on the vitamins there are some natural vitamins and these natural vitamins are taken from all the organic foods as they are taken from the organic food or the from organic substances they are just found in plants and animals so our body is unable to prepare the vitamins to produce or to prepare the vitamins so that's why we always need the vitamins from outside in the form of diet or by the way of different dietary supplements so they are very important for the normal growth of the living organisms on the other hand when we have look on the vitamins they can not be assimilated without in digestion or in digesting the food so that's why it is always suggested by different doctors we must take the vitamins in the form of meal and in turn these vitamins must help to regulate our body metabolism metabolism is the simple breakdown of the food or all the chemical reactions that are taking place in the living organisms for the proper all the reactions to take place we must required here the vitamins so let's have a look their importance one by one that what the main function they perform first one we have the vitamin a here the vitamin a it is beneficial in treating eye disorder it's mean for the better vision we need vitamin a in an adequate amount on the other hand it also prevents us from the skin infections so this is very important and on a whole to prevent from the skin infection and to maintain the health of the epithelium it is very important so there an adequate amount is required for the proper functioning of the different parts of the body next type we have its vitamin d as it just aids in treating the arthritis arthritis it is a disease of the bones in which the bones started to pain when there we have deficiency and they also started to be weakens or weak due to their deficiency on the other hand it also prevent the tooth to decay it is also important for the diabetic patients and when they are present in deficient amount or less amount it causes the rickets the rickets it is the disease basically which is related to the bones and in which the twitching of the bones just started and they started to bend due to the deficiency of the vitamin d on a whole the vitamin d also plays its important role in the absorption of calcium and now this absorption of calcium is very important for the maintenance of the healthy bones in on a whole 
the vitamin D is very important for the bones. So we must take there an adequate amount for the proper growth of the bones. The second type we have here vitamin E. The vitamin E it helps to improve the blood circulation and it slows down the aging process. It means it slows down the process of oxidation in the living organism so that's why it is very important as it improves both the blood circulation in the body and slow down the aging process. Then we have the vitamin K. Here the vitamin K it reduces the risk of menstrual pain and the internal bleeding. So basically to stop the bleeding of the human body we required the vitamin K. If the vitamin K it is in less amount or less quantity then what does happen? The simple the bleeding just started in the gums or from the nose and in turn it is very difficult to stop it so to stop the bleeding process in the human body or the living organism we required the vitamin K in an adequate amount after we have the water soluble vitamins here we vitamin B9 it reduces the risk of the neural tube defects during the pregnancy so it is very important for the females then we have the vitamin B12 it provides the relief from the symptoms of the anemia kidney and the liver disorders so for the proper functioning of the liver we require vitamin B12 in a proper quantity because if the liver is not going to work in a proper way it may cause the diseases like we have the anemia on the other hand we have vitamin C it helps to treat the scurvy cancer and the common cold so to treat the common cold we require the vitamin C in our body the scurvy it is also the disease of the skin and then we have the cancer here the cancer just caused or can be prevented or can be treated with the help of the vitamin C and the vitamin C we gain from all the citrus fruits or from the oranges so orange is the great source of the vitamin C so the, all the patients that are suffering from the scurvy cancer and the common cold they must take the orange juice to be prevented from the disease I hope you guys understand so this was all topic today and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and the next topic that we will discuss it is the commercial uses of the enzymes that you know all the proteins or all the enzymes are basically protein in nature and what are their commercial uses and how they can be used we will discuss it in the next topic for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day